everyone and welcome back to MVP 19. So we're back harvesting the field. Uh, been doing a little bit to start with. Not done much. Just thought we'd make a start before we start recording. I think we've got about half a combine each in the trailers. Uh, and as you may have just noticed, actually, when I turn the camera around, we have been and bought a second truck and trailer. So the trailer we got yesterday to go on the tractor we have sold again uh, we thought seeing though we've made quite a bit off the last bit of the field we will sell that trailer and um, i know it may have come in handy but we can always get another trailer later down the line uh, we thought we'd sell that and then we'll put the money towards another truck and another trailer just so that it's a bit quicker and easier uh, so that we can get this job done a lot faster still got 234,000, so we're still doing pretty well in regards to money I, I'm not sure how long this field is going to take we are going to try and do as much as we can um, but obviously we may have to do some off camera we will see what happens and um, how we do it so I, I'm not sure how I am sounding this is obviously I have done some testing and what have you but I have actually got a new microphone to the, as of today I'm finally in my new recording area, uh, so I've finally got my system set up in the area where I'm supposed to be recording now, and I have bought a new microphone as well. I've got a Rode NT microphone, so hopefully my sound quality should be a lot better. Um, if not, I may need to do some tweaking and stuff like that, uh, but hopefully it is a lot better for you guys um, now that I've upgraded from my um, Blue Snowball. That I had before. I've heard a lot of reviews about this microphone and they've all been really really good and apparently the sound quality is impeccable compared to say the Blue Snowball and um, it's about on par with say the Blue Yeti but finding a Blue Yeti at the moment has actually been really really hard. Uh, I don't know if it's just because of Corona or if it's just in general but there's been none about um, so I decided to go for the Rode NT, a little bit more expensive than the Blue Yeti, but ratings are just as good, and I know a couple of other YouTubers that do use them. And, like I said, heard good things about them. So, yeah, that is my new piece of equipment. Um, currently suffering a little bit of... Uh, latency at the moment. We've had a bit of a problem with our internet and in, with the internet in our area. Uh, yesterday we had issues getting onto the servers uh, for doing multiplayer, and today uh, I've been experiencing bits of lag. My MS keeps jumping up quite high. Uh, I'm hoping that it is just a temporary thing, uh, but I have looked on the internet. And apparently there is some issues in our area at the moment. Um, my, as you, you can, might be able to just see it in the bottom left corner where my map is, my MS is jumping up to like 150. Uh, not too sure what's going on there. Um, I have a little router disc in where, next to my system, uh, and it's usually blue, uh, but it's been orange for most of the day. So, it's uh, clearly not happy. <laughs> uh, so, if there is any stuttering and jumping, I do apologise. But unfortunately, it's out of my control at the moment. Uh, there is a fault somewhere outside. But, hopefully, it's not going to interrupt the video too much. So, like I said, we're going to try and get as much of this done as we can. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to play out. It might be a bit of time lapsing, a bit of jump cutting. Not too sure. Uh, we have got Nat with us as well today. She has had a little bit of a microphone upgrade. Um, so, Nat is actually going to be upgrading to a Rode NT, the same as me. She has already got it. It's sat, uh, still in the box, waiting to be used. But unfortunately, her desk still hasn't turned up for her new setup. Um, so she has inherited my blue snowball for a little while. Um, so Nat, how are you doing? Um, a little bit loud there. <laughs> but um, 
What's it called? Uh, we're just saying how you've inherited my blue snowball until your desk turns up so we can set up your road. <laughs> it's because you've upgraded from a, a normal standard headset microphone. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Whereas you don't need to with this, you can just talk normally and it picks you up loud and clear. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so that's doing okay. Um, it, like I said, the sound quality is a little bit bit better. Um, a bit too loud, <laughs> uh, but obviously her settings and we haven't had time to fully master her settings yet. Um, and like I said, there's probably not a lot of point because she will be upgrading into the road as soon as her desk arrives. Um, it was supposed to come when mine came, uh, but for some reason it didn't. Um, so still waiting on that one. So anyway, enough of me rambling. Uh, I'm going to go into a time lapse at this moment. And then like I said, the rest of the video, we'll see how it pans out, see how much we get done. And we'll see you as and when we're jumping and out. See you in a moment.
Okay guys, so we dropped that load off. That's just dropped a load off as well. So we're up to 303.897 even after buying the second truck. So what we're going to do now, because we were harvesting in yesterday's video and then obviously we've been harvesting today's video as well. To finish the week off, because obviously we're only doing these videos on a Saturday and a Sunday. We're going to head over to the shop now and we're going to go get a baler. We're going to bale the headlands on the fields. Oops. See what I mean about my uh, <laughs> latency a little bit? Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going to get a baler and we're going to bale the headlands just to break the video up a bit because I don't want the videos just to be just harvesting. And then what we'll do is we'll get the rest of the field harvested next week and we will squeeze it all into a really fast time lapse and um, it's going to be a bit challenging on how to do this i think the only way i can see this working properly is if we just get on with the job and we time we, we record it all and then time lapse uh, really quickly so that you get to see all the action in sort of like a small bite-sized chunk I honestly think that's the best way of doing it um, so I think that from next week that is what we're gonna do we're also looking at maybe maybe depending on how things go leasing another combine um, and getting a hired worker on the field as well just to try and get it done a bit quicker these fields are monstrously big and they do take a long time so we are sort of trying to come up with ideas on how best to execute doing it basically um like i said with how big the field is, the fields are something we're both new to i have done big maps you know myself before on single player but never anything this big so and um, the other thing we're looking at as well is we're looking at changing the trailers for the trucks now the truck the trailers themselves are perfect size liter wise for this map and the size of the fields and everything but they are really hard to get around corners and get in and out of the drop yards so we're thinking of changing them for the Optiliners which are 79,000 litres so they're near enough just as big but the actual physical size of the trailer isn't as big as uh, the GSM tra uh, what, uh, GSM GMS trailer, I can't remember what it's called um, so we're thinking of swapping them out for the Optiliner trailers instead. I know we've only just bought them, but um, after the palaver I had in that uh, yard trying to get it in and out, um, it, they're just a little bit too long. But we are going to swap them out. Okay, so let's have a look for a baler. Now, I've used these ones down here a bit in my Let's Plays. And obviously we have got some modded ones as well that are have been used. I haven't used this one yet in my Let's Play. Uh, I have used it off camera, but not on my actual Let's Play. Uh, and then I've got these Culver and Alfalfa ones as well. And we have this Duke's Bar and Big Master. Hmm, tempted. Tempted. Now for the Big Master. Or we have a go with the front no, very expensive. No, we'll go with the Dutes Bar Big Master. I've, I've not used this one yet, I don't know what it's like, so we will give it a go. All uh, protection. But, yeah, I don't think we need that. <laughs> I don't think that is needed in this game. But yeah, uh, we will buy that 104,000. We've got plenty of money to spare. And a nice big Dukes Far to have a go at. So obviously this is going to be the first time we use our Fent as well. Shame it's not actually a green Fent, otherwise it would have been a good match. But I like the Black Beauty version. It's not something you get to use very often. Such a big tractor and half of the time 
it's, it's too big for most normal uh, size maps. Be alright on, say, an American map maybe, but on most European British maps, which is what we do tend to play on, uh, well, what I tend to play on the most. It's not often you find a use for a tractor this big. So, I pick this up. Uh, Nat is going to get... Ooh, I need to sort my dead zone out. It's a little bit out of whack. Um, yeah, Nat's going to get the Pavelli auto loading trailer. Uh, I know it's not very realistic and it's just a normal bale trailer that auto loads. But she's going to get that. It'll just be so much easier. There's going to be so many bales. Uh, so it will just be a lot easier to basically pick them up and get them moved. Because we want to keep so many for uh, animal feed. And then the rest of them we want to sell on and get rid of them. Uh, we we'll probably won't be selling them in today's episode. But we will move them along and get them sold at some point. I am intrigued to know how many bales we're going to get out of the field. Um, we only did one run on the headland, but I can imagine it is going to be a lot. Uh, we are going to get a lot of bales out of this field just off the one headland. You don't really need to do a lot <laughs> on here to uh, get a lot. Could be good though. Could be really good. Right, we're at the field, and we can finally get going on this bailing. Let's get it unfolded. Drop the intake, yep, all set up. Turn it on. Let's see how this dude's far. The bombs. It's got a decent pickup radius. Not too narrow, very good. So the plan is, that's gonna get in the Pavilion trailer. Um, we're going to do one load of 4,000 litre bales. Once she's full, I will then change it to uh, probably 10,000 litres. We're going to have one stack that is for animals, and then the other stack will all be for selling. I think one trailer full will be more than enough for uh, any animal needs we'll need for now. We can always do another headland on one of these fields without an issue. Oop, getting a bit squidgy there. Um, we can always do another headland full. For animal feed, not an issue. Uh, with the size of these fields, with one headland would probably be more than enough. Doing quite well, this dude's far. Quite pleased with it. Quite impressed with it. First time I've used it. Would help if the uh, server wasn't lagging as much, but I suppose we can't have everything we want all the time. So, anyway, I am going to go into another time lapse while we get this done, and we will see you when it's finished.
Okay guys, that's pretty much all the bales done. Just this last little bit here, coming round back to the farm. And just at a rough estimate, we did a few, I think we did about 45, 50 at 4,000 litres. And uh, we've probably done about the same again in 10,000 litres. So, I'd say there's a good anywhere between 80 to 130 bales on this field. Uh, probably looking around the 80 to 90, more than likely. But, unfortunately, with us playing on the server, it's a, we, we can't get an accurate figure because there is no um, stats page for anything like bales or anything. So, unfortunately, we can't get an accurate figure of how many bales we've made. Which is unfortunate. But, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. We'll get the baler put away. I am very pleased with this dude's fart. It has done very well. Oop. Never lag out. Uh, that is our stack of bales for animal feed. So they're all happy there now. I think I might put it in one of these sheds just here. Yeah, I think we'll keep it in one of them. Keep it nice and dry. It's part of the workshop, but the workshop's on the other half, so it's not a problem really. Definitely had some use on its first day out. Oops, to the uh, wall there. Definitely had some use on its first day out. Very good bailer. Very, very good bailer. It is available on, oh, a mod hub. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for my horrific driving tonight, guys. Um, it is very late and I'm starting to feel how late it is. Uh, when I started recording this episode, it was, I think it was approximately about one o'clock in the morning and it is now 20 past three in the morning. It's 3.20 a.m. Uh, so it is getting very late. Had a very busy couple of days. Leave that there. I've had a very busy couple of days that um, just really took it out on me. And I still want to get the content out for you guys, so I am dedicated to getting that done. But unfortunately, it's just led to me having to do it in some inconvenient times, should we say. So, anyway. That is me pretty much done. We're just going to wait for Nat to finish collecting all the bales and then we'll see where we're at when she's done all that. Um, like I said, they're the ones we're having for the feed and then we're thinking of keeping the ones that aren't for feed um, out on the grass verge just outside the farm or around here or something. Um, I think it was just around here. I've been on the other side, I can't remember. Yeah, just round here. Uh, we're thinking of just keeping them on this grass verge here for now. Uh, it'll do perfectly fine. So we're just waiting for that, and then when she comes, we will get you sorted. So we'll be back when she's finished. Okay, Nat's here, and she's just going to unload the bales now. They are all 10,000 litres. So, my numbers were a bit wrong, um, so we've had two lots of, uh, two full trailers pretty much, so we've got roughly about 80 bales, but a big chunk of them are 10,000 litres, so we've got a fair few. Um, we're having a few issues with this trailer today, don't know why, it just doesn't want to unload. <clears throat> Keeps uh, mucking up. Too sure why. You're having problems with it again.
Right, that's the bales unloaded. Uh, like I said, just having a couple of little issues with that trailer at the moment. I don't know what's going on with it. It just doesn't always want to unload. Uh, but that is that done. So, I think that's it for me now for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, next week we are going to try and get that entire field finished. Uh, like I said, in probably a really fast time lapse. See what we can do with it. And yeah, so that's it from me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.